For all you hoof trimming fanatics seeking a satisfying hoof trimming video today, this is the perfect hoof for you to watch because this one is going to be good. And as I'm going to get the hose to wash this off for the ultimate viewing experience, you could hit that subscribe button. And talking about water, isn't this a beautiful water feature we have on this farm today? It's so therapeutic and it's starting to wet me now to listen and watch this lovely water fountain. I think the guy that owns this car here would be pretty thankful that I went and switched that off. Otherwise, his book was going to be full of water. I really do love these trims myself. I've literally took a few swipes of the knife off this huge high heel on this cow and already look at the height difference between both of these claws. That's the reason we need to rebalance her, trim her, so she'll be walking lovely after this trim. This here is also a really good angle to see how high this claw is and how low this one is, meaning that the whole cow's weight has been carried on this claw here. Hence why we have this problem burst out at the heel. So with trims like this, there's really a lot of hoof flares that have to be dealt with, but most of the time we're hoping that when we get down here, trimming off this excess hoof will relieve the cow, and hopefully we might get away without a block in this case, because it's refined to the heel, it looks like a little bit of digi up here, so hopefully if we get this off with the grinder, we'll see better whether we need to put on a block or not. The grinder's really speedy at taking away that last piece there, but I couldn't exactly go in around here so delicately, it's a hard one to say this morning, so delicately without using the knife. So this damage to this cow's foot probably started here and has traveled its way up and burst out at the heel and leaving that opening there has allowed the dermatitis up here, this lesion here, to set up home in this cow's foot and when it's got in here it's not going to stop here it will travel its way down here if we didn't intervene and really get right down into this claw but as of today it won't get any further than where it is this cow that we have in the crush today is a little bit more mooey than usual but i suppose cows are a bit like people some people just talk more than others she's quite comfortable in the crush she just wants to be a little bit vocal and maybe even tell her friends in the shed that she's okay. We didn't quite get the height difference we wanted between those two claws, so it's time to crack on a block. And sometimes these cows can move their feet just at the wrong time. That block needs to be held steady for around 10 seconds and sometimes they can kick within that period which is kind of frustrating. The crush does hold them well but still some of them can just get that little bit of movement at the wrong time. Thankfully in this case this little cow was very well mannered. This cow does have some rugged, rugged rough skin up around this dermatitis which is quite normal. 
So we just need to we just need to remove that there, which is coming off nicely. You're okay, girl. We don't want to hold you any longer than we have to. Final little wash and dry, make it nice and clean. Normally, in these white line lesions, this here can be linked up here. This here is an isolated case of dermatitis. If the dermatitis wasn't treated today, it would go down here, join in with this here, and just keep going on down the claw. So, we get some salicylic acid gel, I think, on this one, and she'll be walking like a new cow. That's that little cow fixed up. Let's get her out of the crush. She's due to be milked in the robot. So let's get her out, see how she's walking, and let her back in where she needs to get milked. Come on, girl. I have a funny feeling if I wasn't standing here, she probably would walk in, so let's try plan B and I'll go this side. Come on, girl. I think all that that little cow wanted to do was show us again how lovely she was walking. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to get the next cow into the crush, and I hope you found that hoof trimming video very satisfying. Take care and we'll see you all hopefully not too long.